I was asked by a known sound effects company to create a casino sound effects library. They ask for things that I can easily find like poker chips, cards and dice, and other things more complicated like slot machines and roulette sounds. So far, so good. The only problem was that this request was during a very unusual time. A global health emergency. The first coronavirus death. Coronavirus spread so quickly. Yes, I was lucky enough to receive a few interesting projects during the first COVID wave. But the problem was that there was a lockdown in my country, so that means no shops open and traffic is limited. The only thing I could do is to use what I have in my studio and try to record random junk. In this video, I'll explain how I created a relatively complex sound effects library with very limited means. So before we continue, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe. I started with the easy part. I asked for poker chips, cards and dice from friends and started to think of sounds that would be essential in a casino sound effects library. Here's a tip that might help you when creating a sound effects library from scratch. Sometimes your client will send you a spreadsheet with all the sounds that you need to create. And then it's easy, you just have to follow the list. But other times they will just say we need 200 sounds of and you just have to think of interesting sounds that will also be useful and popular in that category. The best way to do that is to watch famous poker scenes and try to understand what's important from a sound perspective. Now it's true that poker scenes are almost never about the game itself, but rather about what's happening in the player's head. But after watching a few famous poker scenes, I started to make a list of all the things I noticed happening frequently, which can be divided into two categories, cards and poker chips. Let's talk about the cards. We have a single card being dealt, cards being thrown, card slide, flipping a card, cards shuffle, and so on. The next step is to make sure that we name the sounds correctly. Each action that happens in a poker game has a name. I'm not a poker player, so I had to educate myself and learn the famous poker terms like wash, collect, square the deck, riffle riffle box riffle, and so on. The next category is the poker chips. Following the same logic, I recorded a small stack and a bigger stack, putting a single stack on the table and all in. I was also asked to provide slot machine sounds, but I had no access to any slot machine whatsoever, so I had to think of other ways to create them. When I recreate a sound, I look at the picture and try to break the action into small sections. By assigning a different sound to every section, I usually get a good result. So let's try to break the slot machine handling into small sections. Handle pull, reels rolling, reels slowing down, reels stopping, and assuming the player wins, we have coins falling and the machine will usually make some kind of an 8-bit music. Let's call this sound jackpot. Let's start with the handle sound. I want to make this sound mechanical, like the old slot machines we see in movies. I went to the industrial part of town, to look for metallic things. I also found a metal table with slots on its surface. And by sliding a card through the slots in different velocities, I could recreate the sounds of the reels rolling. This video is meant to explain how to build a library, so I won't go into a deep explanation about the editing part, but basically just by cutting and layering different recordings using basic tools like EQ, stretching, and changing the pitch, I was able to recreate all the sounds I needed. Handle pull, reels rolling, Reels slowing down, reels stopping. The jackpot sound is divided into the digital sound that the machine makes and the coins falling. The coins falling was quite easy. The digital sounds we will have to synthesize. I used Massive, which is a perfect fit for these kinds of old fashioned sounds. and play different chord inversions. Then I use the MIDI arpeggiator. I try to write a sequence of notes that will sound similar. By adding the coins falling sound and adding a repeating ding sound, I was able to create a nice jackpot sound effect. Now let's add all those sounds to the slot machine video.
There were many other sounds that I created for this library like dice rolling, bell ringing and other more modern synthesized sounds, but this video was meant to show a few things. You can create almost any sound from scratch by recording junk and using virtual basic tools like time stretch, EQ, pitch, compressor, reverb and a good versatile synth. You don't need super expensive recording gear and super expensive plugins it is possible to work during a pandemic. That's it for today. I hope you learned something new. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe.